Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Transgalactic Trek in Elite Dangerous. I haven't played Elite Dangerous in a while because of the release of version 1.04 Kerbal Space Program, but now I'm back. We are in Kakandi, and I want to strike out for the center of the galaxy. Uh, this time I'm going to be plotting my way through some of those interesting clusters and, uh, and nebulae. Uh, so that we, we can spice things up a little bit and focus on those, just like I did with the Lagoon Nebula. I think that was a good way to go. Now, of course, those particular locations will already be explored by other explorers, most likely. But there's a chance that there's stuff around it that won't have been hit by them. And then I can get uh, good stuff out of that. Besides, it looks like as long as I hit some uh, B-type stars along the way that happen to have planets around them, I might be able to get some decent credits out of it. Now, I haven't done full analysis. I've uh, noted down what uh, planets uh, got me the most funds on the way back, but I haven't really done an analysis of it, and I won't do that on camera, obviously. But uh, first things first, I wanted to go into Starport Services because uh, somebody mentioned that I should upgrade my decal. So, uh, Scout, Surveyor, Trailblazer, I'm gonna go Trailblazer. Yes, I think we've done that. And so let me upgrade my decals to Trailblazer. Okay, so uh, we're all set and I just need to figure out how this advanced scanner is going to work for me and see what we may have missed. But let's, yeah, let's, let's strike out and then we'll see where we should head for. You'll remember that we missed a lot of black holes on our way to Lagoon Nebula, so that has to be a consideration. I want to get those black holes, even if other people have discovered them before. Well, where are you turning, guy? Okay. Okay. Out we go. I think maybe we should get some distance away from Kakandi before trying to do anything too interesting. Let's head out of plane south. Oh, not south. Downish, if you will. Trying to find some likely target, but... Oh, wait. Uh, well, people have discovered it before, I'm sure, but I guess we'll just aim for this one for now. I think we've even... Uh, we might have gone there before, too. Okay, route plotted. Let's go over there. Alright, this will be the first jump of our trip. Maybe I should start logging these, but we're, we're so close to Kandi, it shouldn't be too too big a deal. Alright, here we go. Frameshift drive charging. Okay. Unknown, so we actually haven't been here before. Oh, wait, it looks like we have been here before. Uh, only two new objects. I don't know if this is really a place to be hanging out. Let me get its name down, though. Since it's the first star on our way to the galactic core, and I'm going to have a full accounting of our trek. I have decided this. Okay. Okay, here we go. Next star. Frameshift drive charging. Clearly another uh, M type. So I thought about streaming this. But the visual quality will be a lot lower. Basically, my streaming bitrate seems to be about a fifth of my normal bitrate for my videos that I produce, and e even less compared to the highest bitrate videos that I make. Uh, those are usually shorter episodes. Let me do some fuel skimming here. So yeah, I don't know if I can I don't know if it's a good idea to drop the visual quality that low. Obviously not as much of a problem for a Kerbal Space Program, 
But unless I can get some better internet around here, I don't think I can stream this. And if I still want to record it, of course. And I do still want to record it for YouTube. That's the first priority. There we go. A little bit out of practice. Let me get the star name down. Okay, so, how about you? Wow, 23 new astronomical objects. Okay, so now we're, we're really dealing with a good scanner here, obviously. K-type star, let's take a look at this system. This seems a little bit more interesting. Okay, well, discovered by somebody else. And various other actually it's a uh, pretty diverse as far as who discovered what around here but I guess I can pick up uh, this this location too bad we can't target it from here fourth planet okay let me explore this one I will make my contribution to the exploration of this system You know, I don't know if orbit lines are really necessary anymore. Oh, well, we got some sort of transient up there. We're still a little bit close to populated space, so I better be careful. Anarchy Ice Planet. Well, got some nifty nebulas in the sky here. Wish we could just point at them and sort of head towards them. I mean, like, uh, just sort of target a star close by and just... No, I... Yeah. Pipe dream. But anyway, uh, yep, let's continue on with our uh, our planned journey now. So we hit this uh, this one leftover planet that wasn't explored by anybody. So I'm just going to head, continue on to the B-type star that we had targeted, so that we get some distance between us and populated space. Okay. Well, there's an even brighter star. Let's just give our normal pings here. One object. I think I'll skip this one. Well, I don't know. It's probably... I think it's just got a companion. I think its companion is nearby, it looks like. Um, its companion's on the other side. I guess I'll head for it. Uh, it's, it's pretty far away. You know what, uh, that's probably not worth it. The planets are worth it, the stars are not so much. Uh, let's head on to our next target. Probably it won't be until we get pretty far away from populated territory that we'll start getting some interesting discoveries that other people haven't gotten already. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Maybe we should just uh, keep moving. Okay, I'm gonna have to do some fuel scooping around here. All stars, well, except for this one, which has already been discovered by Jodel Automat. Jodel Automat. I'm, that's well, how I'm gonna pronounce that. Okay, all done here. Okay, here let me just prioritize fuel scooping. 
I'm not even gonna check out the star. I will give a ping though. Five new objects. So uh, let me take a peek at what the stuff around here is. Uh, already been discovered by Reese. Reese. So probably in the next episode will be uh, will be post commentary. Yeah, I'll probably do the next episode in post commentary because I want to move things along. So far, the advanced scanner hasn't brought me much, but that's but it does save time. I mean, we've seen that other people have discovered stuff. We don't want to waste any time around these parts. Drive charging. And I don't have to aimlessly hunt for stuff. Yeah, I guess that would be the biggest benefit to the advanced discovery scanner is just saving time. And so we'll be able to do discoveries uh, and and still make our way through to the other side of the galaxy without uh, about the same time expenditure that I was doing on the way to Lagoon Nebula. Okay, just gonna give an advanced scanner ping. Ten new objects. Well, let's see what they are. I'm gonna be fuel scooping around here anyway. Okay, Galley K. Well, uh, I have seen that name before. Uh, big time explorer, I guess. Definitely. Okay, so that's all been done. Okay, dim star is dim. Okay, let's just move on. One thing I did notice about the stuff we discovered before is that for the most part the juicy stuff was around B-type stars, or at least uh, decently sized stars, but there were some very lucrative M-types as well. So with 16 objects around here, I will take a look. Uh, discovered by Lowlander, Sol Solaire of Astora. Okay. And Solera of uh, Astora already covered all the planets. Alright. Okay, crappy star. Cannot scoop from this. Let's just give it a ping, I guess. Eight new objects. Well, they've been discovered. Wow, if even a crappy star like this has all its stuff discovered. Let's just jet to our first... Uh, I'm not gonna even ping anymore. I'm just gonna fuel scoop and proceed to our first real target. Okay, it seems like we have a string of A... Uh, low type stars. Not really A type, but I mean uh, A in its designation, which indicates that we can't fuel scoop from it. Okay, so let me take a look at the galaxy map to see how we can reroute so that we can get better better destinations. Um, that's a star we can refuel at. Let's go there first before continuing on. And maybe we'll pick a further destination instead of the one we had originally. Okay, well, let's do a full full attempt at exploration here. Ten new objects. 
Let's see what the system looks like. Patrick Raven site. But Patrick Raven site did not explore the planets. This is a uh, this is a bad idea. Well, I, I guess maybe because they all look like ice planets. Uh, but uh, yeah, generally it's a good idea to check out the planets because uh, they they are worth a lot. So I am going to explore the planets that were left behind after I after I do some fuel scooping. Fuel scooping. It's a really tiny blob, I guess. No wonder it was left unexplored. This little image is sort of interesting looking. Oh, it's a high metal content planet. Let me fly by it. Oh, finally. Wow. Okay, it's sort of got it's got a Mars-like texture. Okay, I guess the implication is it might have had water once. The little image in the down there seems to suggest it had some river valleys. But anyway, next thing. Rocky Ice Planet. Probably the other one is too. This is a transient over there. So maybe not not in safe space yet. I gotta watch out. Okay. Alright, uh, next weak signal source right there. I don't like that. I mean, I'm sure they're all rocky ice planets. Just taking a look at them. I mean, maybe it's not worth giving them the time of day. Maybe, uh, maybe Patrick Ravenside had the right idea. Okay, yeah, I, I'll leave the rest for somebody else. I want to continue on. Well, this NGC 6357 is certainly standing out to me. 6,000 light years in. And there's a cat's... Oh, now we see the nebulae. Cat's paw nebula over here. There's the lagoon nebula. Can we see some other nebulae that are closer in? We're over here. Oh heck, let's let's target this star. Okay. I'm satisfied with that. Let's go for there. Okay, I'll give a ping, but I'll move right along. B92 sector, here we come. Okay, quick ping out. Only one new object. Let me just take a peek to see whether it's been discovered before. We've got 23 jumps ahead of us. No. Okay, well, let's take care of it then. Okay, M type. And let me do some fuel skimming and then we'll head on to its companion. Okay, out we go. I'll see you there. Okay, yeah, I think I've decided that I want to get rid of the stupid orbit lines. I'm mean, not stupid, but I mean, uh, just uh, right orbit lines off. Yeah, it would be helpful without the advanced scanner, but I'm, I'm not convinced that it'll help me much now that I have the advanced scanner. Oh, we're already scanning something. It's pretty far out. Well, of course, before I used to have to rely on my basic discovery scanner to find it, then so it would only be able to do it at 500 light seconds. Okay, um, I don't think we need to do fuel scooping here after all, since we were able to scan from pretty far out. Let's just move on to our next destination.
Okay, let's do some fuel scooping quickly. And I will ping this as well. Wow, 14. Okay, we'll have to take a look at the system map. Okay, somebody else is right on that, but not the planets. They all look ugly-ish. But I don't know if we can tell from just this, so... Uh, they might not be all ice planets. Let's get the closest ones to the star. And maybe that'll give us an indication about whether the rest of them might be worth it. Let me get the star first, since at least, well... Yeah, just for completeness sake. If I'm gonna explore the planets, I want to at least ping their star. Even though it's already been discovered. I see planet. Okay. Well... Where is this one in relation to the rest of the system? Well, that's the fifth one. Maybe some of the ones closer in would be better, but they all look like icy plants to me. Let's just move on to our next destination. Okay. Quick ping. Some fuel scooping. Skimming and scooping I sort of use interchangeably, but certainly don't want to use both words at the same time. Whoa! This one's got some nearby companions here. Okay, well, let's see what's up with this. Well, not much beside the stars. Let's just check whether it's been discovered already. Yeah, Scout, appropriately, na appropriately named, and Bergic, or, yeah, is it Bersic? Or Ber I think that's Bersic. I can't tell the G's from the from the C's sometimes. Okay, anyway, all done here. It'd be really cool if I just happened to hit a system that I had discovered before and I saw that I had gotten credit for it. But I don't think I'm returning the exact same path. This GW-W does does uh, does ring a bell though. Let me just quickly take a look at this. I should probably have done the ping first. Well, there's Jonathan Archer, but let me see if there's any objects nearby. Uh, well, it's unknown, so I couldn't have been here before. Let me get it since it's an A-type. Six new objects. Oh, some interesting-looking bluish worlds, but Jonathan Archer got all these. Okay. Well, this is not as bright a star as I was hoping for. Yeah, this has been taken care of already. So yeah, an Earth-like planet would be interesting. Wow, 32. Okay, who discovered this one? Burngator. Burngator. And, uh, Thunderguts got that little planet there. <laughs> oh, there's a ice planet. I, I guess everybody skips the ice planets. I think that must be uh, a, a reasonable thing to do. There's this planet here that nobody hit. Thunderguts got that star. Funny, uh, Thunderguts got this, this one, but didn't get its companion here. Got all of these, but didn't get this one. Okay, uh, let's see how far out this companion star is before I try and uh, aim for it. I want to get that one planet. No, that's not too far. Oh no, it's this one. Darn. 66,000 light seconds for one planet. I, I'm not going to go there. Let's just move on. Oh, this is a good looking one. A type, clearly. Well, we're definitely going on a course that I haven't gone on before. And you can hardly avoid doing that. The galaxy is very large, after all. Okay, let's see what the sector map looks like. 
Jacelyn, we've we've seen Jacelyn before. And all of these. Some of these look pretty good too. But I'll leave them be. I, I'm, I'm sure if I pinged them again, I'd get some credits for it. Not credit, but credits. Uh, but, yeah. Let's, let's move on to newer things. Okay, let me quickly check how many jumps we have. 12 jumps. Alright, this doesn't look particularly interesting. Let the advanced scanner do its thing. Five. I'm sure it's been discovered. Let's move on. Every second counts. Okay, well, there's a relatively dim star. Let me pass by it just to get some fuel, and then we'll move on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 42 objects? I gotta see this. Okay. Lodorenos. I think that's a way of pronouncing that. Um, yeah, wow. Completely got this system done, I think. Yeah, even the little planets? Even the little planets. Well, uh, that I like to see that. That's good dedication right there. Okie dokie. Well, after the last one, I should at least give uh, an advanced scanner ping of this one as well. Uh, 21. Okay, well, let's see. Give credit where it's due. Oh, these look uninspired. Microla. Mic. Am I... I'm just having a bad pronunciation day. Commander Mr. Gray I can do. Uh, these are probably all ice planets. I think uh, the general pattern is to skip the ones that are quite obviously just ice planets. Well, I should probably get this one registered. 24 astronomical objects. And what does this system look like? Denris. Oh, Denris uh, didn't do much of the planets. Okay, uh, let's let's take care of this pair first. At least uh, they seem interesting. There is a bunch of icy moons and gas giants, so... But these two look interesting. Oh, we can uh, scan them from here even. Let's not go so fast. High metal content planet. Well, we've seen that before. Maybe some high metal content planets are... are good high metal content planets. Nothing particularly striking about this, though. No atmosphere. I think probably atmospheres would get me something. But let's explore this third one as well. Uh, there could be other features. I mean, uh, just because it's not going to be a Terran planet doesn't necessarily mean it's uh, it's not interesting, right? Well, high metal content planet, you know, could be a good metal. For those keeping count, this is the 34th system that we have traveled to since setting out from Kakandi. Uh, impact I don't like. Let's not do impact. But let's do... send that pulse out. 27 objects. Wow, this is... Uh, this suddenly gotten a lot more interesting with all these objects, but we're still it's well, it's mostly ice plants that nobody bothered to explore, isn't it? 
Giriflas. Giriflas. I don't know. I'll, I'll let me try out the ones closest in. They're reasonable size. That's that's Earth size. That's that's almost Earth size. That's Earth size. They're they're all Earth sized. Now the the star itself, uh, it's not very very bright at all. Okay. Uh, rocky ice planet only. Still. Whoa, whoa, uh, yeah. That's, uh, interesting looking rocky ice planet, though. Okay, let me just take care of this one as well. But I bet it's the same sort of thing. Okay, icy planet. Not even rocky this time. Okay. Let's just go to the next sector. Not sector. System. Okay, don't like the look of this one either, but let's check. Eight objects. Well, I probably won't stick around, but uh, fuel scooping and then proceeding on to the next sector. And of course we will check who did this discovery after I get the fuel scooping done. Alright, that's, that's enough fuel scooping. Let's check who got this one. Oh, it's unexplored. Okay, I take it back. I will ping this K-type star and probably the first planet. The others look like like icy planets. Okay, high metal content planet. Well, that's better than icy. I think that's all I'll do here though, even though there are other planets. Okay, well this one has a companion, but does it have planets? Two objects, well it's companion, is, well it's got two companions, so it's just those. So nothing particularly lucrative I don't think. Okay, quick ping. Twelve objects, fuel scooping, checking who did what. Unexplored. Okay, I'll get the closer in planets and the sun then. High metal content planet. Typical, typical, typical. Next. Next one has a moon. Or maybe a companion. I think it's just a moon. Let's see. Let, let's see what exactly the details of that first one in were. Uh, it's got an argon atmosphere, so that's interesting at least. Okay, so so we've got some interesting stuff going on here. So atmosphere is atmosphere is a positive. Okay, another high middle content planet, and how about its companion there? Rocky ice planet, probably a moon. Let's see. Argon rich atmosphere, but uh, mostly nitrogen. This one was 100% argon. This one has 0.7% argon, lots of nitrogen. But this got two atmosphere, this is only half an atmosphere. So we're sort of trending in the right direction. Uh, let's just check this one out then. So, third planet, please. After this, I think I'm gonna sprint to our destination and call it an episode after that. I see planet. Okay. Okay, finally a B type. Wow, this thing is rotating like quickly. This thing is rotating very fast. Okay, come on. Four, 
55 new objects. Please tell me there's something somebody hasn't already done. I doubt it though. A blue super giant that is rotating like I, I don't know it, we're, we're sort of looking bright right at it so it's bright but you can see how quickly that thing is rotating. Let me see if that's reflected in its actual data or whether that's just an animation. Whoa look at this. XR Spire discovered this one. Yeah we've seen XR Spire before. It has an orbital period but it doesn't have a rotational period. It's just rotating really really fast but there's no clear reason why. This one, uh, XR Spire. XR Spire probably took care of all of this. Yeah. Is there anything interesting that I should get even though it's already been gotten? I guess I should ping the other stars as well. Yeah, but otherwise there's there's nothing much left to do here. Hmm. Well, anyway, uh, I'm gonna park it here for this episode. Let me get a safe distance away from the star, which looks like it's and it's rotating all right. Let's see, where is the other star? Ah, oh, that's pretty far out. Let me just target it to see what it looks like from this distance. And maybe we won't go to it after all since it's already been discovered, but I want to put some distance between me and the, the main star of the system. Okay, that's a nice view and there you can see the dwarf star that we saw on the system map as well. Okay, so I'm gonna park it here for this episode and we'll continue on. How far along are we? since our goal is the galactic center. We are a thousand light years in, so that's good. 1040 and 1050, so 1042. Okay, and where I want to go, probably we should revisit the, the Thor's Eye area because of the neutron stars and the... Uh, what's this little blob here? Is that like a Magellanic Cloud or something? I think so. Anyway, so we want to hit some of the nebulae along our way. Could go Lagoon ne I mean, Lagoon Nebula, we don't have to go to. It's those black holes near Thor's eye that I'm particularly attracted to. The Trifid Nebula may be a thing. Here. That's one we haven't been to. And then there's this one here. There's a lot of nebulae right around this area here it would seem. Plenty of targets. So that will make uh, exploration interesting on our way. Further in, I don't think there's many identified nebulae. At least they don't they don't show many. Yeah, well, there's, there's some random ones. There's this NGC. That's not a random one. That's, that's a real one. It's an NGC thing. But these are random ones. These are generated. These 4X, double uh, A-A -A kind of things. Fro Froarks, Froarks. But we should probably try for them, and hopefully the I mean, probably other people have already hit them, but we might as well try. And along the way, there'll be stuff that nobody has seen before. Okay, so that is that is my goal, along our way to the galactic core and beyond. And you know, I've got some spare cash, so I'm not worried about anything. If I somehow get destroyed on my trip, I'll just end up back at Kandi and I will get a new ship and move right along. So we'll try and get very far this time and perhaps spend some time on the other side of the galaxy too. Okay, so that's my goal. It'll take a while, but again, I'll be doing post-commentary next time, so we'll get a little bit farther, hopefully. Alright, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.